Welcome back everyone. Today I'm continuing with my mini chipboard album that I'm making for my godmother and it's pages five and six that we will be working on today. As you can see I've picked my photo and this will be my background paper. It's called Love Grown Here and all my papers I will be using are from Graphic 45 and it's the uh, Garden Goddess collection. So here I have my chipboard and I will just be tracing the outline of it with my pen. And for those interested, I am using Mod Podge to adhere my paper to my chipboard. I do that actually off screen so as not to bore you with the whole gluing process after I fussy cut the, uh, my outline out of course. So there's my chipboard all glued down and this is the gorgeous Graphic 45's 12 by 12 patterns and solids also by, from the Garden Goddess collection so that all my papers coordinate. I picked this lovely yellow paper to map my photo and of course I'm going to use my perfect layers ruler to make sure I get the absolutely perfect mat on my photo. Now anyone that's been following for a, mo for a while knows that I love my perfect layers ruler. It gives me different choices of mats and all I do is uh, get the ruler, I lift the photo a bit so that I get a nice little ledge and then I cut it with my little exacto knife. And this is just a Fiskars exacto knife. It's one that I love because it's nice and sharp. Once that's all done, I bring my little chipboard back and I looked at the pattern paper on the other side of that mat and I quite liked that how well that coordinated of course it's all from the same collection but I love that pattern on it so I cut a strip down and I'm just going to put it there but as you will see further down the track I land up changing my mind so I've got my ink and I'm using the Memento's grey flannel ink because I didn't want to use a harsh black but this is a nice it's when it's the ink that I go to and I don't want a harsh black but I still want a bit of a contrasting color but not as dark as black. Does that make sense to you guys? So this project is part of Crafty Vera and Friends Challenge for the month of May. We are actually celebrating National Scrapbook Day all month long. So here I am. This is the other side of my background paper. Love growing here and I'm just going to fussy cut that clock with the beautiful lady and her garden and that's going to be my little one of my ephemeras so as you can see i didn't actually get an ephemera pack for this and that never worries me because i love to use my papers and i love to see how i can use my papers not just as papers but sometimes as ephemera as well i love to do fussy cutting and i just look at my papers differently instead of just basic 12 by 12 papers so as you can see all I'm doing here is when I went to stick down my little fussy cut ephemera it didn't actually pop out from that background paper but that wasn't a problem I then decided that I was going to use the paper that I used as a mat and I just cut a strip and I love the pattern on it I was a little bit worried that it was going to be too much pattern but it actually worked quite well together then I took out this other piece of paper and it's just got all these strips of I don't know I'm going to call them border strips okay border strips and this paper is called it's called seeds of kindness and I land up making a lot of my own ephemera from this strip so I landed up cutting a few different little strips there's a, some nice little thin ones that I put aside and then that pink one and then I get to the one that I wanted and that's that little yellow one but I use all my little strips on this layout so as you can see that yellow strip I loved it for its saying and it did remind me of my godmother and she's a very kind lady but before I go on with that I decided that my photo needed another mat to stand out from all all those papers and I just used this other pink paper and I believe that one's called the pa that pink paper there is called um, Thoughtfully Planted. So I've given it two mats now, my photo, and I just like that better than just a yellow mat. Bring in everything together, and I then decide that I'm only going to use part of that border. I just want to see the one that says lovely, and that's going to end up being on the uh, left-hand corner of the photo. When I went to stick my little tag down onto the background paper, it didn't actually pop off the paper you couldn't it sort of blended in too much so what I did was I decided that I didn't like it in one strip so I landed up cutting it into different little segments and for those interested 
those words that I'm cutting out, it actually reads, happiness blossoms where seeds of kindness have been thoughtfully planted. And I just loved that. So what I did was I got my pink paper and I'm just going to stick those words that I've just cut out onto some of this beautiful pink paper here. And that paper, for those interested, is called Thoughtfully Planted. And then I'm just going to cut them out and I was actually brave and I just used my scissors to cut them out, which is not like me because I normally use a trimmer. So here are all my little ephemeras that I made from that beautiful paper called, uh, what was it called? Seeds of Kindness. Gosh, my memory is shocking. Seeds of Kindness. And as you can see, I've just cut everything to whatever it suited me and I've got my own little, little lots of ephemera. So when I get a collection, I don't normally buy the whole collection. And usually if I have to choose be between anything, it's the ephemera that I leave out because you can make your own ephemera from your papers, but just by doing a little bit of fussy cutting and I guess a little bit of patience. So here we are, those little strips that I cut out, I'm just gonna glue them down there just to give everything a bit of a border. And I'm loving how that looks. There's my little tag that I cut out from those, um, border strips and that says lovely and love that it's all come together and I believe that my page five is nearly finished and then we move on to page six so I'd miss, I must admit I'm really enjoying making this little chipboard mini album for my godmother and I wish I'd done it sooner because I've had this mini album for quite a while. So this is a chipboard from the Garden Goddess chipboard sheet there and all done. Oh, I almost forgot. I wasn't done. I decided that I wanted to put in an extra something and I had this little love wooden embellishment here. So I'm doing a bit of embossing. I use some embossing ink and this is the embossing powder from Ranger called Love Letters. Okay, now I'm done with it. Got ahead of myself earlier. So this is the finished page five. I'm loving how it's all looking. You flip it over and you get page six. So I started with my photo and on page six, I'm using the Garden Goddess 12 by 12 solids and pattern. And there it is all stuck down and now to work on my photo. So I decided that I was going to give it a pink mat with that paper called Thoughtfully Planted just to keep everything in track with the previous layout and I liked how the pink contrasted with all the green and white and black there then I used the rest of the paper from my previous page it's that lovely it's a patterned paper from the same paper pack that I showed you earlier and I'm inking all my edges but this time around I'm using the vintage photo from Dist Distress Oxides so loving how that's coming together. And this is the sticker sheet from the Garden Goddess collection. And what did I do? I can't even remember what I did. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. It wasn't that long ago. And anyway, oh yes, I took out this little sticker sheet and that says, now let's see if I remember. It says, blossom from the inside. So I just stick it down there. And this is amazing. I'm actually using a sticker sheet and not sticking it onto some scrap paper and then uh, cutting it out but I guess it was just easy to know that that's exactly where it was going to go so I used another one of those strips st uh, sticker strips down the bottom there as a border and loving how that goes and that flower there was a fussy cut flower from one of the garden goddess papers that I'd done ages ago and then didn't use it was just sitting staring at me and I thought you know what you're going on this page on that right hand corner so for this page, I used a lot of the remnants from the previous pages from all the papers, but that's okay. That's what scrapbooking is about, using your scraps. Okay, so then I took out these clipping stickers from Tim Holtz Ideology and I picked the words that said, just a memory to fly it to your heart, a gracious smile from V. And I just thought that that was just a nice little sweet message to send to my godmother. And I didn't like want to just stick it straight onto my, my little chipboard. I wanted to give it a bit of a border. So I'm just using what's left of this scrap of paper. Now this paper was called Thoughtfully Planted. I love the, the little, I love the pattern behind it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And this is where I'm being very brave for me. I normally like my, when I cut anything, I like it to be perfectly straight and everything has to be very linear. So 
I'm trying to get out of that habit and I am just using my scissors and just cutting it as straight as my shaky hands can do it. But you know what, I actually do, do like the look of it even though it's not perfect and every, every little side's a little bit different. It doesn't matter, I just thought that that looked nice and I guess the word I'm looking for is organic. I did ink all the edges of all my little words with some Distress Oxides in Vintage Photo and then I got out these lovely Bow Bunny candy dots. They're little enamel dots. I absolutely love them. And I land up putting three at the, three at the top and then down the bottom where the little word is or where that's, that saying says blossom from the inside, I put two greens on the outer and a pink in the middle. And I just love that little added touch that it all just gave to the layout then I inked my edges and I loved how it turned out and I should say that in the center of my flower I actually did use a brad from Bow Bunny as well but it's just the Bow Bunny brads and that was it I think this page is complete oh no almost completed I forgot I did some splatters so I took some Dina Wakely acrylic white paint put it in my little my little, I don't know, that little, little glass, what is that called? A little glass, uh, I don't know, little glass container and added some water and away I went. I just did some splatters and I'm just using an old kid's toothbrush here that I found in the bathroom and then that's it, all done. So thank you all so much for bearing with me while I'm doing this project. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am and once again, until next time, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscription button and liking this video if you did like it, that is. Okay, bye everyone.